This is Mike Lewis of ME Radio. I'm at the Sport and Technology Conference at the BT Centre and I'm sitting with the special guest, which is Dame Kelly Holmes, double Olympic gold medalist and a, a BT ambassador. It's about three years to go, Kelly. It's until the London Olympics. Are you, you, can you feel the excitement building up? You looking for? You must be looking forward to it. Absolutely. I mean, when you actually put it in today, it's like 1,144 days or something, and it's quite scary to think that, you know, very soon we'll be in the um, the last moments. You know, the countdown under a thousand seems quite surreal. The thing is that three and a half years is going to go extremely fast, and everybody needs to get on board very quick and realise the importance and how big um, this game is going to be. Because this is a difficult time, isn't it? We're in a world recession. Life's mm-hmm. life's very difficult. Money is very difficult to mm-hmm. for Locog to raise for, from sponsors and to, to you know to build all the buildings. It's it's a it's a difficult time, isn't it? It is a difficult time, but BT have committed to be a, a 2012 um, sponsor, and uh, because of that, uh, BT are taking that very seriously. You know, when we talk about the extent of the communications and technology needed for the games, you know, from everything from uh, what we see on television streaming results, journalists kind of uh, pitching up with um, all the the plugins, the stands, the uh, multi-sites, you know, around the country, you're going to have big screens, um, people are going to be off of work at that time, so need video links, you know, it's going to be absolutely huge, and I think from a BT point of view, because they're an official um, Olympic sponsor, they need to make sure that their company are ready but also other companies are ready for this kind of influx of thousands and millions of people I know it's going to be amazing I mean I, at the BBC I know is talking about it being the most multimedia games yeah. ever because you can you can watch it on BBC One BBC Two on you can press the red button every sport will be available for people to to watch or listen to it it's, it's going to be an amazing well an amazing multimedia experience and, and it's very important isn't it that lots of kids are going to be inspired to try sports they've never tried before there'll be new heroes as as people we've never heard of now as we speak get gold medals Mm -hmm. it's really important that that all doesn't die the day the flame goes out isn't it yeah absolutely i think um you know what we're going to be enabled to do with the technology and the kind of visual side of the games is inspire so many new people in sport whether that be young people uh, people that are volunteering around the game spectators there's going to be i think seven point seven I think a million spectators or something you know come in to have a look at games and actually what we get from the games is this whole big it is the biggest showcase of sport on this earth it's like 46 world championships all taking part at the same time that enormity is going to bring so many other focal points about sport and it has to continue post the games for us to feel like you know the big games or the energy we've put behind it and the fantastic show we're going to give it wasn't wasted you know it benefited everybody around the country and predominantly around the world as well now we hear a lot these days about kids in this country being unfit there's less team sports particularly in schools you've set up the dame kelly holmes legacy trust is that that's trying to encourage people to to take part in sport and 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 get away from the the computer games and actually go out there and do it for real i think uh Dame Kelly's Legacy Trust which is set up was really about uh, engaging young people through sport because sport has the ability to really give people vision and to set yourself sort of goals and aspirations but also participating in sport isn't just about taking part and kind of doing the doing it's what you get out of it so the leadership, communication skills um, teamwork, picking yourself up and brushing yourself down when it's all go wrong, learning from mistakes um, confidence, self esteem steam and all of those things I think are so important in a young person to develop uh, real kind of skills that enable them to handle any part of their life and sport has the ability to do that and so yeah through the trust we've got a couple of areas BT are really sponsoring a, a part of the trust that um, works with young talented sports people and also their parents and their coaches so the support network to say that right, you've got a talent but unless you visualise yourself and having belief in yourself and going through an education type development you might waste that talent and actually you know in life you have to take up opportunities that go so we're kind of really strong about kind of core values and uh, life skills but using sport as the hook and mainly using retired sports people that have been there done it that all have different backgrounds 
backgrounds were all were inspired for whatever reason and, and became successful using them as the deliverers of all our programs so that the kids can kind of look and think gosh you know I can achieve something big you know I'm very much about the kind of what sport gives you as a person and if you then can achieve something great out of it I mean you'll never forget it for the rest of your life and finally despite the world recession despite all the problems it's going to be great in three years isn't it Oh gosh, absolutely. I mean, I mean it's massive and it's very hard to describe to people how big this game is going to be. And when we spoke right at the beginning with the, the importance of technology and communications like P- BT getting on board, it's invaluable. You have to get every single th- part of the games across to everybody. If you can't sit physically get a ticket to sit in that stadium, which is going to be so hard to get, <laughs> let's face it, you have to and want to see everything and the means to that is everything that's BT really are going to be able to put on the big massive screens on the internet on your iPhone you know every stream um, communication stream there is is so important because we won't want to miss a minute of it you know all around the games is just going to be massive I think we're going to hold the best games there's ever been we're going to take it to a completely different era and I'm really looking forward to it. Kelly Holmes thank you very much.